Can we just pay some attention to the biggest freaking channel snap my server has ever seen? Freaking read the rules. Okay, thank you very much. What is up, guys? Today we're reviewing some newest changes to the model bench 1.1.0. And let us just get to it. First of all, the controls have been changed, so now you move around with the middle mouse button, not the left one. And the right mouse button doesn't work anymore. So just press down the middle scroll button, and if you hold down shift, you can also pan left and right. That's all we have right now. If you turn on snapping, it's gonna move back and forth by 15. If you want this to be precise, you can turn on absolute absolute snapping, so now only values by 15 will be accepted by the software. We also have a bunch of other settings here, so snapping for moving, rotation, scale, and UVs. We can toggle a bunch of stuff here, such as the grid, the gizmos, the highlights, which I'm not sure what they do for now, and the outlines. We can also mess with their opacity straight from the drop down. Oh, aren't you a handsome man? Next we have wind settings, nothing special, because nothing is affected by wind here. A bunch of different render modes, such as flat, shaded, and textured. We can also mess if we want ambient occlusion or lighting or not. And also, we have blocky bending but I'll get to that later. We now have the bend tool. Oops. We now have the bend tool which can assist you with bending and I'm not sure the icon is supposed to be down here. Well you can drag the icon up and down to mess with the offset or if you have custom bend size on you can drag this handle to increase the bend size. Ooh, Noodles for breakfast. We can now also group select. Oh and something interesting watch this. Playing gizmos. I can move this anywhere I want. Right, give me my head back. Oh, also, if you click on this icon, you can move it in all three axes. What about I just do this? Eh, come on. Come on. You can do it. F okay, okay, watch this. This menu right here now has shortcuts. Okay, so the scale tool is now supposed to have snapping on. Bruh! Alright, so the scale tool is now supposed to have snapping on. That's pretty neat. The gizmo is supposed to fade away. Ooh. If you put your camera like this, oh yeah. The gizmos fade away. Okay, when you pan around, the mouse is always gonna be on the same place on the screen. When you start moving, the mouse is always going to be in the same place. Oh, we also have element search. Let's see. Nice! When you hover body parts, they're not gonna be highlighted. Oh wait, is that the highlight? Turn this off. A bunch of stuff for language files. I don't know what that is. <gasps> Yo, you can rename stuff by double clicking. Oh my god. Okay, okay, but watch this. The side menu, the shortcuts are spelled out. More nerdy stuff. What is this? Okay, so snack bars now fade when closed. I don't know what a snack bar is, but I'm guessing it's this. Bro, I'm doing a bad job. Allow Minecraft skins and hide shapes can now be undone with Control Z. It's in the undo list. But don't you want to know what's on my to-do list? Ooh. And a bunch of other fancy stuff no one cares about. What I want is the models. Yeah. You can now export .obj files, and those files are supported by three dimension software such as Blender or Maya. But it's taking forever. It's gonna be done today. I'm sure it's gonna be done today. Come on, I'm physically aging. All right, let's launch this up. And oh, that's a lot of items. Eh. Oh, come on, bro. Now you're gonna be slow. Okay, let's see. Import. <gasps> it's here. So yeah, you can put your models in Maya now with full detail, bro. Okay, that is actually pretty sick. So all in all, I give it three out of five stars because it's freaking slow but anyways guys the download is in the description do be sure to download because it is fun and i almost forgot here's all the bug fixes and with that i'm out see ya